In central London, Paulina hasn't been having the best of times. At the Curzon Street Apartments, her crocodile shoe-wearing client, Carl, in here wants a place in a Mayfair with an outside smoking terrace. I was a bit frustrated and kind of stressed about the first one because we didn't have outside space there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could find me something with the terrace and location. At 2,100 square feet, apartment three is 600 square feet smaller, but two million pounds cheaper than its neighbor. Its open plan living space and study and two bedrooms feature Holly Hunt designer furniture and Porta Romana lighting throughout. Oh, this is nice. I yeah. Like the entrance. That's a lot more space here. I definitely like the layout of this one here. I saw Carl's eyes when we entered the second apartment. OK, now we're talking. Lovely, yeah. The open plans, uh, kitchen and dining, and also the, uh, the living room as well. Good layouts. Apartment 3's layout and price tag has piqued Carl's interest. But what about that outdoor cigar terrace? Can you open the windows here? Yes, absolutely. Because I was thinking, Carl, we were discussing the terrace. This is a very good room for a cigar lounge. That's what yeah. I was you saying. You close this off. Well, these do yes. all close off. And all you need is a cigar you know, extraction unit. So that's something you could install. Yeah. I was really happy when that little room in the second apartment, we make it a cigar lounge. I thought, like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> I would join this party. Yeah, I'm just checking from here to Savile Row, our showroom. It's 10 minutes walk. I knew that in advance, but I never told him. <laughs> so when he started checking his phone, I thought, like, have a look. <laughs> You'll know we're doing our job good. <laughs> Fantastic. That's why we're here. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I could sacrifice the terrace, the balcony, for this room here. Oh, so, fantastic. Uh, yeah. Polina's mentioned a couple of other properties as well, which has a balcony, smoking terrace. So I'll be keen to look at that. So I think it was a good start, but uh, we're doing something else with him uh, next week. So I can't wait to really impress him. Luckily, colleague Constance has a property in neighboring Knightsbridge that could tempt Carl. Definitely a premium address, prime property, and I really hope it fits his profile. This imposing corner plot is 4,700 square feet. It features six bedrooms and four bathrooms, including this principal ensuite. The house boasts a further three reception rooms, as well as spa facilities and a winter terrace. This property has been in the owner's hands for 42 years but at £11 million, it's a little over Carl's budget, which means a lot more shoes to sell. Carl! Hi, Polina, how are you? Hello, good to you see are. you. You too. Thank you so much for coming. This is a brand spanking new listing. Looks lovely. Uh, Polina has been briefed on the house, so I'll leave you in her capable hands. Yeah. I'm hoping today that Carl will be more open-minded, open-hearted. I know that time is ticking. Welcome. Wow. Lovely. This will be one of the receptions, dining areas. Oh. Love the table. Wow. Yes. This is very good. As they say in life, theatre starts at the dining table. We property brokers, we need to act as psychologists in most of the cases. Sometimes people, I would definitely tell you, they don't even know what they really want. They limit themselves to a specific picture. Uh, without using their imagination. How does this bedroom feel? It's nice, it's spacious. Bed and your shoes, the two most important things in life. If you're not in one, you're in the other. This is what I was really waiting to show to you. Oh, Ta -da! Wow. We finally have it. Outside space. Yep. This is a lovely terrace. Yes. Though. Good, really? excellent. I could stay all day now. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I was, really wasn't sure. Paulina told me about the location. I was going, you know, I did say Mayfair, but I told her it needed to have a terrace, you know, smoking balcony. And uh, I came here and thought, wow. With outside space achieved, Paulina isn't finished yet. So we are now in the house that has 4,500 square feet. 
Yeah. It was granted planning permission to extend it up to 6,000 square feet. It can be a mega mansion, basically, in a top location. With high net worth individuals, they obviously give the budget at the lowest level for them. It's, it's a very uh, common story. But then they're stretching to the level of their desire. And uh, we're there to show them both sides of the river. And I'll speak to my architect later. We have scope for drilling downstairs and uh, expanding the port as well. There's a lot of potential in this place, a lot of potential. Slightly over budget, about 20-30% over budget, but pretty sure we can get the finance in, in place. Let's go for this one. I need a second viewing. Yes. Very happy with this place here, so uh, an offer later on.